My name is Christopher Whedon. Uh, my artist name is Smurf01 or Smurf for You Dirty. Uh, I'm hailing out of Brooklyn, New York, Four Green, originally Bed Style for the last decade or so. Smurfo is this kid from Brooklyn that went to camp in the Lower East Side for three years and kind of got turned out by the scene in the Lower East Side. I would say if I didn't go to camp in the Lower East Side for three years, it wouldn't have uh, influenced me to stay in art and design. I probably went to LaGuardia and transferred. I've been doing art for about, um, I'm gonna say my whole life, but really for the last about 15 years. And uh, I got into graffiti art about 10 years ago. And um, I've been doing my uh, urban contemporary art style for about, I'm gonna say like seven years or so. So Smurfo is a Brooklyn cat, half raised in the LES, that likes to drink and party, come back home, sleep, wake up, and draw all day. I'm a delinquent, but I'm proper about it. My website is smurfoyoudirty.com. It just officially launched about three weeks ago. Uh, that's where I'm displaying all my new works of uh, all my urban contemporary art and graffiti and urban contemporary fusion, which is a good amount of like uh, edits I do for newspapers and magazines where I remix uh, fashion exposés and I, re and I remix uh, newspaper articles and covers and things like that into my own personal style as well as doing a monster series right now called Monsters in My Mind, which is uh, just AKA Mom. Licking up a lot of Japanese magna and uh, old school art from the 80s and 90s that came out of Japan and also the States. Also a lot of weirdo art from Portland. And uh, it kind of just inspired me a lot, that uh, ruggedness of like monsters and monsters you can draw any kind of way. So it was, it's, uh, a lot of freedom and like rather than enjoying some pretty like a tree or a flower, you know, a monster you can make as ugly as possible. And I kind of dig that. Definitely being in art and design high school and the people around me and you had all these different types of artists. You had like fine artists and graffiti artists and fashion majors and even down to the acting inspired me and too just like uh, going to the black box and watching people act, act out shows and just uh, the way people act and stuff like that. So I'm definitely like Brooklyn, Lower Manhattan, uh, a little bit uptown, kind of funky style, you know, like that. And uh, I run with like a bunch of cats and mine, all their crews, but they know who they are, you know what I mean? Those are my boys, so definitely cool, like a lot of people in the graffiti you seeing out here. Cause I put in a little bit of work, but not as much as my peers, so I definitely got respect for anybody I know that like put me onto anything. So uh, we were on 77th Street in like Columbus or whatever, and we decided to walk all the way down to like 42nd and that was just the best. Straight down like Broadway and going on side streets, hitting like every phone booth, gates, and caught about like 40 tags. And a uh, really cool part was, I was just feeling it and caught a tag in front of this Polish bar. Uh, one of these Polish dudes threw a bottle of Heineken at me. And uh, I didn't realize what was happening until like everybody was pulling me away from the bar and then uh, kind of bugged out. And, Mind you, this is my heyday as like being crazy. So there was a fridge on the corner. So just being the kid I was, you know, ran up and drop kicked the fridge on the back of somebody's car. The car flew up in the air and we all ran out and still started catching tags. And I ended up, the last tag was on uh, Dwayne Reed on 42nd Street in front of like a million tourists and hit the train station too. So, uh, and it's dope because you can still see the Smurf outline in the station by Dwayne Reed. So uh, I'm still living there at least. Yeah, Rush never lost me. I still feel the same way every time I pick up a pen. Whether I'm at an art show, like signing my email into the book, I'm catching a tag or drawing something, or if I'm writing my number in somebody's like uh, number book, I like do some artwork. If I'm with friends at a dinner table and they have a notebook, I'm drawing something if they have a pen. Every time a pen's in my hand, I want to draw. Literally, it's been like that my whole life. So that Rush still comes to me, always. I definitely, magazine-wise, I was inspired by a lot of magazines. Uh, Juxtapose Magazine, Mass Appeal, definitely, Sneaker Freaker. Those magazines are actually where I was actually starting to notice more urban contemporary artists like John One and Jor One and Reese. A lot of the older school graffiti dudes that got into like doing actual artwork DVDs as well. I used to have a few DVDs from Europe of like bombing and stuff. State Your Name was like a huge DVD in New York that like every young painter watched in my generation that like got them hype. 
to like want to go paint in the streets and stuff. I would say like a lot of times advertisements inspire me. TV definitely inspires me. So I definitely watch a lot of Adult Swim. You can probably tell through my heart like I watch Adult Swim all the time. So certain shows are like they would be considered bad drawing always inspired me. I love that simple aspect of art. And then uh, taking it and molding it into whatever, you know. A lot of people think some things are simple and I think it's beautiful when it's simple. Because when it's simple in the beginning, you can mold it and do whatever you want to do to it. That's the beautiful thing about cartooning, you know. When you study cartooning, it shows you like facial expressions and you know, how to create a whole, you know, thing from just a simple one cartoon. Anybody who I can see doing it, inspires me so I mean I know their name but if you're doing it you're doing it. Shopseiko.com thank you for the interview. Uh, shout out to all my peoples in the world, all my young artists. Keep doing it, keep drawing. No matter who tells you not to draw all you want because that'll keep you sane in this wild world we're living in. Uh.